Welcome back. How are you doing? Um, I guess I want to show you my uh, happy planner and um, micro. And um, I bought this a while back and I was planning to make like a, a little larger one. So I did. Um, when I did make it, I used this. I don't know if you guys remember me buying this. Uh, confetti which is I had a lot of fun it was really cool to put it on the lamination sheet and put it to the laminator I had a lot of fun and it came out looking like this so I don't know if you guys can see and then I started to cut it out and I started to cut out squares and then I made pockets with um, a place table mat that I bought at Walmart and then I bought this at um, Office Depot and it's just a file like a folder and you can put stuff in there and stuff like that but I cut it up and I started cutting out the, the same way that I was doing with this cutting out squares and pockets so I ended up coming up with this um, I remember speaking about I was gonna I wanted something to hold my stickers for my traveler's notebook and so this is exactly what I made um, it's a little larger than the micro uh, happy planner um, if you measure it here put it together it's a little bit oops there we go so you got like you know half an inch taller from this um, and here we go so these are the stickers that I have for my planner and basically this is my personal stickers that I do lay out and I laminated this little kitty on there and so here's the lamination sheet and then I put the pockets from the placemat it was like a lace placemat they saw it at Walmart but then I put it in a lamination sheet and that's how I came up with the pocket and then I used double-sided tape to put it around to hold to make it a pocket and these are the still uh, rings that I had bought from Hobby Lobby and um, I've seen people do different types of uh, I think Louisa she actually turned it into an actual planner monthly planner I've seen another lady and she turned it into her washi tape uh, holder, literally. <laughs> and she, I don't know if she did lamination, but she did like cardboard paper and, you know, she put her washi tape on it. And that inspired me as well. So I also did my own, but this was just a copy from the Happy Planner. And I just like, uh, they had like a little thing for the tag that was inside of there. So I just uh, traced it out. And, I put my washi tape so I put a little bit of washi tape because if you put a lot of washi tape around this you're constantly using the same washi tape in your planner so that lets me you know put different washi tapes different flavors <laughs> and you know use all my washi tape that I have so you know that way I'm constantly with this this does come out um, everything comes out like if I was just gonna pull out this what I like about it is the back shows I, you could put place stickers in the back and stickers in the front so you'll know what you have on each side so and you just snap it right back in I put some paper and just in case I need to write down uh, you know what stickers I don't have and then I could just tear it out and take it to the store so I can get the uh, stickers that I need um, I put a pocket here pockets that I got from Target. They usually have it during school supply. The beginning of school. I think around I guess like around August. They usually have these uh, pockets and I cut it in half. And I placed one here too as well. So here we go. So I, so I uh, made another one that I'm going to be placing in Etsy. I'm not going to be making these again so usually I make stuff and then I move on to the next project. 
So first curb serve, first serve, first come that buys this. I'm saying it all wrong. <laughs> but um, this is the one that's going to be going up for Etsy. Um, the cast the metal, the same, uh, sorry, the same metal. What are these called? Uh, binders, right? I think. <laughs> and here's the back of it. And then it has a little kitty that I printed out and I put the pockets here. These stickers you do get, everything that's in here you get. And it's the same method, same everything. Um, I laminated some of these little kitties so you could put these in your planner and they are laminated. So you could just slide them in. Um, and I did the same thing here. Oh. I did the same thing here, um, laminated a little kitty cat onto the little pocket that I made. So, And then another one here that you can put in your planner and some stickers and stuff. And you know, I put a little, one of these little cardboards for your planner. And, and I am going to be making planners sometimes too to put up an Etsy as well. I enjoy making planners. I always have. They give me a sense of calmness when I'm working on them and stuff. And, oh, this one's so cute. Had some of the glitter got onto it. The confetti. It's so cute. I love that. <laughs> so, um, oh, and you get the same thing. You get the washi tape. And I put a little magnet. I mean, it's like a magnet holder. And you can put this in your planner. And I put it there. It's a diamond, rose gold diamond, <laughs> and some paper that's from the Happy Planner, and it fits just perfectly in here, and another pocket with stickers. Now, these are not perfect. This is handmade, so if you come in with a Meyer flying glass, you know, you're not going to, you know, it's not going to be like perfectly made, you know. Um, I think like right here the laminated lamination didn't go so good and it bubbled up just a tad but I placed a a cover for it a pocket so you can't really notice it didn't show in the back or anything it's not going to come apart or anything I put it through like three or four times just to make sure but you know that's just it's not perfect so um I put in some of these for your planner and basically put the smaller stickers on the front and then I put the big stickers in the back. Um, the stickers you can get at um, Walmart, um, pretty much anywhere for your happy planners. Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's. So it's really cute. <laughs> I just love it. And you know, both of them, they have two little kitty cats peeking out. <laughs> and they feel really good. They're so adorable. <laughs> I'm not going to be making them again, but because you know it took a really long time to make. You know, I had to measure and stuff, but here we go. So, if you're interested, this one will be going up into Etsy. So, that's that. And um, I also, I've been busy. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. <laughs> so, I bought this a while back. Um, you remember in my previous video. And um, this was um, from Hobby Lobby in the back. I explained it where it's at. Hopefully it's still there. I actually want to go back and get more. Um, and then I bought this uh, fuzzy ribbon. This fuzzy ribbon. And put this here. And this bow. So I was talking about I was going to redo my planner for the summer and spring for April so this is what I did this here so here's the little bow I made um, the same way uh, this uh, method I got from Louisa she's uh, another crafter she does a lot of travel notebooks um, some not particularly like this but in her own other type of way um, she is my inspiration my sewing has gotten so good thanks to my mom she's she's a seamstress she used to be a seamstress 
She used to sew wedding dresses and stuff. And I told her I had issues coming around here and it was getting really wonky and you know, and she said, oh, just hire the stitch length and use a size 14 needle. And I was okay and I did it and oh my gosh, look at that. Like a pro now. <laughs> And so I'm so happy so I can make a couple of these. Um, the only issue that I have right now is how I'm going to do, if I do put them up for Etsy for sale, um, how am I going to do the monthlies, you know. So I have to figure all that out. But then from there, um, definitely be working on making maybe some of these. But I do like making the laminated ones. These are the laminated me method. And I love the laminated method. But not with this. This is different. Um, so here it is. I put some beads and I put one of my favorite little uh, charms. I have a lot of charms. That's my uh, <laughs> addiction. Charms. I love charms. I love making charms and stuff. I put beads here. You've got some of my beads. My bead collection. And I put some ribbon and I just made like a little dangle and then I just put it right on in there. See if I pull it. <laughs> and so that hangs from the bottom. And um, here's how it looks. In the, right, and it has my little deer supposed to be picking a little tiny deer. Um, I upgraded in here. I put the envelope here. And um, I did some changes. Because I don't know if you remember, it was Christmas. And I had an owl. So, you know, I took out the Christmas thing, but I kept everything the same. This is my personal planner. I'm in and out of it. This is my life. <laughs> this is what guides my life at float in the boat. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so I, yeah, I love teacups. So, yeah, you, you got the little teacup and I did another folder. Again, I always use my paper from the Red Farm Grows. I dread the day when I use up all the paper from that old book. Um, so, uh, this is just personal. <laughs> I forgot. Um, so, and then I put a little bird right here. And this is just basically how I make my folders. I always do. And then uh, some teacups. A picture of me. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun making this because I had, this is a really cool, I had to double side the paper. And then I placed lace here. And I placed more different paper for Easter, you know, for April, spring, and some. I didn't go through this picture. <laughs> I love this picture. Yeah. And so that was it. And I put some flowers. I put a picture of me. Um, that's my picture of my kitty cat. One of my kitties. <laughs> if I can get on that. There we go. <laughs> He's so cute. And then, of course, I put the picture of the Bambi. Um, let me see if I didn't really... If I upgraded. Yes, I upgraded here. Sorry about my chicken scratch run writing. But I put that there. <laughs> yeah, I always call it my chicken scratch handwriting. <laughs> um, and so I put Bunny's hair to cover up some stuff here. And I put a bunny here to cover up some more stuff <laughs> for Easter. I'm trying to think if I did anything else. Um, I went through this before. I did a, um, a video on this. So, and then just my my February layout. Um, I put this here, a little kitty. Um, I put this here. So, you know, just trying to get it spring looking. Um, this is all the same. I'll never get rid of my little Christmas bear. I love my Christmas bear and my and Edith Holden pages and stuff that I have. This lace. Let's see. My fox. Those are the little fox little things I had gotten. My little teacup girl, they all laminated. And a little squirrel, my little Bambi. So that was it. Um, 
I put that. <laughs> I remember doing that. <laughs> Paper crafts. I love it. So that was it. And so here's the inside of it, you know. I doubled it and used the lace, this lace for the pockets. So, uh, oh, a new pin, a glitter pin. So, yeah. Ooh, see the glitter? <laughs> so nice and Easter, spring, summer colors, light colors, usually towards the summers, I mean winters, I go, I gradually to the darker colors and stuff. So always to put, if I ever put the bow on, you just hold on to that bow and it always stays straight. Uh, oh yeah, I put a little charm here, that's new, and of course I love my charms. I get them from like earrings, necklaces, or something, I just make them. I should, I'll do a video on my charms in the future. Probably do a, v a bead video too. I love showing off my beads. <laughs> so I did that. Um, I bought this on eBay. And of course it's that packet paper that I always like to use. So you know what? I kind of want to use maybe I should stamp one in my journal. Let me see see how they work. So I was really excited when this came in. Oh, oh wow. I love the paper already. I'm probably definitely going to be using this. The background part. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, definitely going to be using that. Let's see. Let's find a little perfect spot. I'm going to do the, let's see, I just feel it, oh, right. hope it fits this, there we go, Alright, cross my fingers. Oops, look at I would have put it on some tissue paper. pressure on here. Oh, cute! Oh, look at that. It's so cute. So I'll put the link down on um, on this if you guys are interested in getting it. I love it. I definitely recommend these little forest creatures. <laughs> and it comes with a fox. I can't wait to use that one. A little stump. A little hedgehog and a mushroom and this one I get of course my favorite can't wait to use that one so there we go just blow it a little <laughs> just to make sure it doesn't I think it's dry yeah it's dry okay put this stuff over here my little bear Okay, so I ordered these little guys as well. It's called Over the Hedge. And that's a little fox, so cute. I'm going to use that too. <laughs> I use everything. I use that. Nothing goes to waste here. <laughs> and they're chipboard, so. I kind of figured to put them in front of journals. They're like, they're, I guess that would say a hard type of wood. So a little tiny hedgehog. Those remind me of our leaves for our mesquite trees we have. 
the little mushroom. Another mushroom. Oh, this is so cute. And I might um, put some tea dye type stamping all around it, you know, before I put it on the journal. But yeah, this is definitely something I want to do. Definitely. Oh my god. Look at this owl, it's so adorable. <laughs> that little confidence. He's confident. Foxy. He's so cute. <laughs> and a little hedgehog. And cute little leaf. Huh. So I guess it's like paper. Well, this one looks like it's kind of chipped a little, but. I don't think I'd be using it anyways. These ones are in really good condition. So, and I did buy two of these. So, two packs of these. So, I, I doesn't really. I'll have another one of these. So, there we go on that. My little chipboard. Oh, well, they're not chipboard, they're wood actually. And this came in. I ordered this as well. It's called Winter Wonderland, so if you look it up online, you'll bump into this. They have a huge packet, the large one, 12 by 12, I think, or yeah, 12 by 12s, and then they have these smaller ones, which is, I don't know the size of it, but it's much smaller than a 12 by 12. Oh, 6 by 6, it says right there. Okay. There we go. Open this up. So I did open this already. I took out the ones that, because it repeated itself, has a couple of the same pictures. So I just put what they already have in there. Because I ordered two of those. Two of these. So we got some plaid paper. Deer. That's really pretty. Ooh, I love this one. Look at that. There's a few of these I didn't see. Oh, wow, well, look at that. So these are like good for making envelopes, especially the repeated plat patterns. Yeah, that'd be really cute. Oh, the polar bears. Ooh, I love this. Okay, this is my favorite. I love this pattern. All the things I can do with that. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're all together. See, I didn't see this one. This is what they do when nobody knows. This is what they do in private. They all just hang out like that little forest creatures. <laughs> Ooh, this is cute. This might be able to fall. Kind of. And then, oh, I love foxes. Whoops. There's the foxes. So, I did buy two of these, so I get to make envelopes and stuff like that out of it. And then one more pick per pack that I did order online and I've been wanting this for years. I'm guessing like three years ago. <laughs> and I finally got it online. And so English Garden. English Garden Premium Collection. Just in case, you know, if you want to order it and stuff like that. And comes, wow, comes with little bunnies. And wow, look at all that. That is so cool. Unbelievable. I'm going to put it right here. Let's see. Oh, wow. 
Love this. Love it. So you're probably, you guys are probably going to see a lot of this in my work. Memorize it. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> so this is like one of the reasons why I got it, just because of the repetitive uh, patterns on it, because you could just do so much, you know, in your crafting and stuff like that. When I do my envelopes and stuff, I love the colors. Little mouses, how cute. I just love little mouses, they're so cute. Mushrooms, flowers. This is cute, it has little snails on its pattern. Little snails crawling around the vines. I'll try getting it up closer. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> Oh, little bunnies over here. Oh, cute. More bunnies. Oh, I love this. This is nice. That's so pretty. I don't know if this comes up in camera, but it's like a light greenish color. The type of green that I like. I don't know what color that green would look. Oh, there are little birds with this. What's the name of it? Pastel green, maybe? <laughs> this is a lot of paper. I did not think I'm going to get this much paper. Did not. That's, this is a good buy. Usually, paper packets come with less paper. Because it usually, like, you know, repeats the pattern. This is, like, seems consistent, like, changes. So I like that. Oh, I love this one with purple flowers and bumblebees. Okay, now that is yummy. <laughs> Strawberries and vines. Oh, I love that. Oh, the back is even cute. Oh, the strawberries. Oh, I got three paint. Oh, four strawberries. I really packed the strawberries up in the bag. Cool. Well, there we go. The English Garden. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and um, remember, I have this up in the Etsy if you guys are interested in buying. Everything you see in here, you get. And thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.